Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Devotion from the Pines at Caroline Furnace Lutheran Camp and Retreat Center, week number nine. So the first announcement is the big announcement. Summer camp announcement will come out tomorrow around noon on what we plan to do for summer camp operations. So look for that on your Facebook page, on the web, or on your email. So today we will start with an opening from the reading for today, which is Psalm 102, verses 1 through 17. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry come to you. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me. Answer me speedily in the day when I call. For my days pass away like smoke, and my bones burn like a furnace. My heart is stricken and withered like grass. I am too wasted to eat my bread. Because of my loud groaning, my bones cling to my skin. I am like an owl of the wilderness, like a little owl of the waste places. I lie awake. I am like a lonely bird on the housetop. All day long my enemies taunt me. Those who deride me use my name for a curse. For I eat ashes like bread and mingle tears with my drink. Because of your indignation and anger, for you have lifted me up and thrown me aside. My days are like an evening shadow. I wither away like grass. But you, O Lord, are enthroned forever. Your name endures to all generations. You will rise up and have compassion on Zion. For it is time to favor it. The appointed time has come. For your servants hold its stones dear and have pity on its dust. The nations will fear the name of the Lord and all the kings of the earth your glory. For the Lord will build up Zion. He will appear in his glory. He will regard the prayer of the destitute and will not despise their prayer. Here ends the reading. And here's a reflection now from the word in season. He will regard the prayer of the destitute and will not despise their prayer. On a typical day, billions of people are praying. More than a billion Muslims pray every day, five times a day. Millions of Jews pray every morning and evening. Countless priests and nuns, bishops and cardinals pray daily as well. And in many congregations, a prayer chain of people pray and pass on prayer requests. All across the globe, people are praying to God at all times. In this psalm, the psalmist lifted up not the prayer of the righteous or the religious, but the prayer of the destitute. Their prayer, God will not despise. God calls us to remember those who are destitute. In this moment, there are Syrian refugees praying for a home. There are Haitian children praying for a meal. There are migrants at the U.S. border praying for safety. These and others like them are the destitute. These are the ones God refuses to despise, for God's heart abides with them. And we add a few others to our prayer now. We pray for those without access to health care, for minor minorities and people of color who feel unsafe in their homes and community. We pray for families who are unable to visit their loved ones in the hospital, for indigenous tribes who are affected by COVID-19, for those who are unemployed or furloughed, a record number in this time, and for families who are still struggling to settle into a new routine. We pray for these and many others. Holy Spirit, join our prayers with those of the destitute so that justice might come upon the earth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And we'll see you next week. See you next week. Stay tuned for our update tomorrow. We're excited to share more news on summer camp with you. Bye-bye.